What's up, court reporters, and welcome back to my channel. This Vanderpump Rules reunion is going to be one for the ages because now the news is breaking that Raquel Levis used the Bravo TV host, Andy Cohen, to serve a legal document to Sheena Shea. When has that ever happened on the show, right? And not only that, but Sheena Shea's lawyer is claiming that Raquel did it just to have a moment on the show and that the legal docs, quote unquote legal docs, that she had Andy serve Sheena were absolute BS. Let's get into the story because I still don't even know what to say. I literally, like, it just broke the story and I am beside myself trying to understand exactly what it is that Raquel and her team decided to do here. If anything, it's going to make them more, look worse than they already do. Like, it seems like she really just wants to, like, go all the way down and never be vindicated vindicated or anything like that so this is a, a story coming out of page six.com and they're saying that um rachel had andy serve sheena with a document during the reunion but the papers have no legal meaning and that is coming directly from sheena's lawyer nama Ramani. okay nama also says it was a request to dismiss the complaint or a civil lawsuit but Rachel had requested a permanent restraining order, which is something completely different. So although she wants to give false hope to Sheena, remember they had to shoot the reunion separately. Let me pull up the seating charts. I just did a video on it, but let's go over it again here. In order to accommodate the restraining order that Raquel filed against Sheena, they had to film separately in person. So over here, you can see on the right that Raquel is next to Tom Schwartz and Tom Sandoval at the same time. And then later when Sheena comes out for her segment, she's on the very end next to Tom Schwartz. So it was during this portion of filming that um, Andy had to give Raquel, uh, Sheena, sorry, the document that Raquel had um, prepared for her. Now, um, again, Sheena's lawyer is like, by the way, this is absolute BS. They're trying to make give her false hope that like this thing is going away. She doesn't want the restraining order anymore, but they purposely, they purposely like misrepresented um, what it was because the restraining order does not fall into any of those categories that the document um, covers. So um, there's a president of West Coast Lawyers who I don't even know what that is, um, but I digress. And the president is saying there's no way for Rachel to drop out. <laughs> Sheena's lawyer is a president of West Coast Lawyers, and he says that there's no way for Rachel to drop the temporary restraining order before next week's hearing. This is California law and even on the court's website, which is basically saying any old fool can go and look it up. You don't need a law degree. So um, how big of a hack is Raquel's lawyer that they would even like give her these documents to go and quote unquote serve on the air? right? It just does not make any sense. By the way, don't forget you guys, that hearing for the permanent restraining order is in five days. So what is Raquel going to do? Because she's trying to convince us that she no longer wants to file it, but she's not, she's not able to just go ahead and drop the temporary like that. So she just going to no show so that it defaults. We'll see. Um, the lawyer also says that the document wasn't even filed in court and you can tell because there's no file stamping in the top right corner of it. And um, this is where he gets a little bit like brutal with Raquel. He's like, this is just another public relations stunt by Rachel and her team. If Rachel really wanted to make this go away, she would come out and publicly say the punch never happened. And she's sorry for all the harm she caused Sheena, Ariana, and her other friends. But she can't do that, right? Because that would mean that she filed a false police report. And that has implications. That has legal implications. So I think even if she did want to do that, she can't. And um, it's not in her best interest to do that, which again is unfortunate for Sheena at the end of the day, because it's her name that's been ruined. It's a restraining order that's on her kind of file as a person. And um, it's got to be embarrassing and it's got to be humiliating for her, especially if it is true that she did nothing wrong, right? Like she's still maintaining the idea that she didn't hit Raquel, Although Raquel claims that she's got like this scratch that she called at the nail salon the other day, a quote unquote permanent scar on her eyebrow, but we'll see. I don't think it's permanent, by the way, you guys. It's scabbing, obviously, because it's still recent, but it will go away. Anyway, I wonder how Andy feels about all of this. Did he know that it was, uh, you, that he was serving Sheena when he gave her the document? 
Or did he think that it was like an apology note or something like, you know, more along those lines that Sheena would be able to read on air and then everything would be hunky dory. Um, Raquel would emerge from the corners ready to hug her or something like that, begging for a hug or, you know, who knows. But here's the thing. Andy is very messy. So I think he probably did at least have some sort of an inkling that that is what it was. But I digress. Uh, sorry, not that it was like the thing being dropped, but that it was like something like legally um, involved. <laughs> anyway, you guys, what do you think about this? How weird is it that Raquel is trying to make it seem like she's dropping the restraining order and stuff? Meanwhile, they didn't even file the documents to do that. Is that weird? Like what would be like from a PR perspective, what would be the benefit, um, the, the benefit to that? I'm trying to understand, you know, as a former PR girl myself, I'm like, I can't imagine a benefit to that, but I digress. Let me know all your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.